Good morning. Economists go back and forth whether trade barriers and tariffs are inflationary, they cause prices to rise, or they are contractionary, which means that economic activity declines. The answer is that both of them are true, but there is another result that we look at, which is that products frequently aren't available at all, and we go without. If the products in question are toy dolls, for example, maybe it's not a big deal. But when it's capital equipment, then that's a different story. And critical capital equipment is not available, and we're going without. We shared last week that the United States does not have enough natural gas turbines to generate the electricity we need to make all these new AI data centers go. This is where the problem started. The Build America, Buy America law says that for all American infrastructure projects from May 2022 onward, everything needs to be made in America. No government funds can be used in an infrastructure project unless all the components are produced in the United States. Electrical transmission facilities, utilities, and energy distribution were included in the law. So now we're seeing power generation projects get slammed because we don't have the domestic production for the hardware and the equipment that the industry needs. Electricity demand will be a lot higher five years from now and we cannot build transformers fast enough. A new transformer ordered today will take up to three years. And that's a big jump from when that law was written when the wait time was around a month. Besides the demand for new transformers and new turbines and new switches to handle the new demand, we need to replace a lot of the old stuff. Duke Energy needed 16,000 transformers to replace the ones taken out by hurricanes. And crews in California are still waiting for transformers to repair what got burned up. This is a government report from a comprehensive survey of all the transformers currently in use in the United States. Over half of them are at least 33 years old and they'll need replacing soon. There are between 60 and 80 million transformers across the country, so we'll need at least 30 million transformers just to replace the old ones. So we need to upgrade and replace all the gear that's old, and we also need huge increases in capacity for new manufacturing and data centers. Those facilities need power 24-7. The power demands for factories and AI are very different than for residential markets or downtown office buildings. These problems all lead to one place, which is shortages of everything everywhere. Prices are racing higher, delivery times are getting longer. Lead times in early 2022 were 78 weeks. That sounds bad enough. Just 16 months later, it was 127 weeks, almost a year longer. And in the case of high voltage equipment, it's 151 weeks, which is more than a doubling year over year. It's possible that the industry just got lazy. From about 2000 through 2021, electricity production and consumption was about flat. American power equipment suppliers and electric utilities didn't move with the same urgency that Chinese companies obviously did. But now everything is hitting at once. We need to replace tens of millions of older transformers. Suddenly, we also need to build tens of millions more for big tech. And our utilities and customers aren't allowed anymore to just pick up the phone and order a bunch of equipment from factories here in Asia. NVIDIA and their trillionaire Silicon Valley friends would happily pay whatever tariffs there are on Chinese gear just to get their supercomputers turned on. But even they go without. This is Nantong in Jiangsu. Be good.
dust of the coal and spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the gentle, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Let your light shine before men, so they see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. 